It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at Eleanor Stieber. New York's Metropolitan Opera has seen many great stars, but Eleanor Stieber is noted for being the first to achieve huge success with American training. Born July 17, 1914, into a musical family in Wheeling, she studied piano under her own mother. After graduating from Warwood High School, Steeper studied voice at the New England Conservatory of Music in Boston. After moving to New York, she won the Auditions of the Air competition, the American Idol of its day, and she was contracted with the Met, the country's most prominent opera company. When Steeper debuted in De Rosen Cavalier, a star was born. She would play the famous roles created by the great composers Verdi, Puccini, Wagner, and most notably, Mozart. Her adaptability was her trademark as she starred in new operas like Wozzeck and Vanessa. She became a legend for performing in Otello and a matinee, and Cosi Fan Tutti in the evening of the same day. She played more than 50 roles at the Met and holds its record for singing the most premieres. Stieber became familiar to television audiences in the 1950s on the Voices of Firestone broadcasts. And released coveted albums with RCA, Columbia, and London Decca Studios. After her stage career ended, Stieber gave back to the community by becoming a voice teacher and a coach at the Cleveland Institute of Music and Juilliard in New York and gave master classes at her alma mater in Boston, as well as the Philadelphia Music Academy. Eleanor Stieber is remembered as one of the most beloved stars of the Metropolitan Opera, celebrated as a quintessentially American diva.